Okay, so now we're gonna work on the external um, ear anatomy and then move to the middle and inner ear anatomy. Um, external structures that you can see are what we can see visibly from the outside, right here that we consider the ear, that's your oracle, also called your penia. The tube that leads in to um, our ear out here, that's gonna be your external acoustic nidus. Um, we saw this when you hit the um, bone identification and bone markings. Um, also, you can't tell um, because it's missing. Right here at the end of the external acoustic medius, we would have a tympanic membrane. But this particular model that I was able to find for this video is missing one. So I'm going to show it to you on the middle ear structure. So this is our middle ear structures. This right here, this is your tympanic membrane. So you could possibly see, if I can locate it, um, the tympanic membrane again at the end of the external acoustic medius, and it would look something like that. Um, another thing that you can identify on these middle ear structures would be the three little ossicles or bones. So this one over here is going to be your malle malleus, this one that kind of looks like, I don't know, a pickaxe, that's going to be your incus. And then this one right here, let me turn it so you can see it a little bit more. This ossicle right here, that's going to be your stapes. There is a hole in the middle of that one. Um, the other thing is the auditory tube, which they did put on your middle ear structure list. Um, you can't see it on the actual middle ear structure. We have to go back to the larger ear model. And so again, we hit our external acoustic medius. We would have a tympanic membrane right there. Um, behind the tympanic membrane, continuing to follow down this canal right there, that would be your auditory tube or your pharyngeotympanic tube. So pharyngeotympanic tube would normally have a tympanic membrane and then our external acoustic medius right there. Um, let's move on to inner ear structures. First, we'll identify them on this smaller model and then we'll move to a little bit larger of a model that we have. Um, so first thing, the thing that looks like a snail shell right there, that's gonna be your cochlea. Um, I do want to go ahead and go over the nerves. So now that we've identified the cochlea, the nerve that's actually extending from the cochlea, so this one right here, that's going to be your cochlear nerve. The one that's um, extending out of your um, semicircle canals or your bony labyrinth, that's going to be your vestibular cochlear nerve. And on the nerve, we can see this little pink spot right here. That's gonna be your vestibular ganglion. So cochlear nerve, vestibular cochlear nerve, vestibular ganglion. Okay, other things that we can see, um, the bony labyrinth, I kinda already mentioned, that's all of this area right here. The membranous labyrinth would be the membrane portion of the labyrinth shown here in blue. Um, we also have some other structures. So looking right here, we have this lighter, larger blue and this smaller, um, darker blue protrusion where it's connecting to the vestibular cochlear nerve. So this top one right here is your utricle and the one beneath it is gonna be your saccule. Um, other things that you need to identify are within the cochlea themselves. Um, you have your scala vestibuli, your scala media, and your scala tympani, as well as your vestibular membrane. So we can't really see them on this one, so I'm going to move this one aside. We do have a larger version of the inner ear, and this is going to be the larger version of your inner ear. Let me try to get it in view for you. 
Okay, so again, this shell, snail shell like structures, your cochlea. Um, we have your larger thing right here that's your utricle, your saccules, the bump below it. So utricle and saccule right there. Um, the nerves that are extending off of the semicircular canals are going to be your vestibular cochlear nerves. So all of these would be vestibular cochlear nerves that are going to merge into the vestibular ganglion right here. And this would be, again, also your vestibular nerve. The one that's extending from the cochlea is going to be your cochlear nerve right there. So if we take and open our cochlea, which, hold on. So I basically took off a piece of the cochlea, sorry, like this, so we could see the inside of the cochlea. Uh, we have, this is where we can see the scala vestibula media and the scala tympani. So we'll start with this pink little area. That's gonna be your scala vestibula. This little blue area is going to be your scala media. And then the green area down here is going to be your scala tympani. Um, the membrane that separates the scala vestibula and the scala media right here, that's the vestibular membrane right there. So that's a good model. We could ask you um, basically those components on it. However, we do have a much better model that shows you all of those spaces. So this is those same areas that are blown up, but we're looking at one singular one right now. So for example, let me put it back on to here. So this is basically, if we took this area and we blew it up, that would be what you're looking at right now. So if we wanted to look at the scala vestibula, that would be again this pink area, that would be this entire area right here. Um, if we want to look at the scala media, this little blue area, that would represent this area right here. So this is the scala media. If we wanted to look at the scala tympani, the little green area right here, that would be this space or opening right here, would be the scala tympani. The membrane, the vestibular membrane that's right there that um, separates the scala vestibula and the scala media. And then you can also see the scala uh, vestibular membrane right here. Beyond that, on this particular model, um, we wouldn't really ask you anything because this is where we're actually going to ask you. Um, so again, we already talked about the three different media. Um, we talked about the vestibular membrane right there. We also have the tectoral membrane. So this is your tectoral membrane. And then right here, we have the basement membrane. So there are three different membranes. This entire area we call the spiral organ. And then we can see these little hair cells right here that kind of make it up. Um, anything else? Let me see. Over here, this would be our cochlear nerve, this yellow area extending out. Um, within our cochlear nerve, we see what looks like we took hard boiled eggs and cut them in half. Um, those are your spiral ganglion. And I think that is all you need to know for the ear.